hi guys welcome back to the farm step it's the 31st of july 2023 officially the last day of july can you believe it it went by just so fast but anyways i thought i can't let this month pass without giving you a tour of the garden in july so here goes nothing anyways if you're new here my name is rebecca welcome back to the gabriel farmstead apart from having a farmstead in northern namibia i am farming in my backyard or i'm gardening <laughs> in my backyard i have roughly a hundred square meters hi guys i have roughly a hundred square meters where i'm growing vegetable gardens for our house consumption the sun have gone down and i have to do this very fast otherwise it's gonna get dark very very quickly and i'm not gonna be able to finish doing this so let's go so we are starting in the onions bed um these are the onions that are started from seed i actually started this and then they didn't germinate and we came through and uh, we planted again and yes it came through i can see some of them are bulbing but guys ah oh, i have planted them really terribly i think you can come and show them this ones you see how many onions are here i think one two three four two of which are being suffocated by the others and i feel like i can't maybe i can use this as bunching onions because i really don't see them um, bulbing up anymore uh, what i have noticed is that due to the seeds being very small and we planted as a team some people some of us are very impatient and we just throw seeds together i have transplanted some of them and the transplants are very visible when you look for example this very tiny one here this very tiny one here this two and i think there are some on this row that are also very very small those are all transplanted that we transplanted and that's why they are small like that okay um i have fertilized this with compost tea multiple times we gave them nutri feed at the beginning of the year i am determined not to oh guys please um there are construction workers close to my house and they are very very loud all of a sudden they've been quiet and then i started recording and now they are very chatty and very loud I just hope that you guys are able to hear me but then if you can't i might have to do a voice over over this but anyways those are the onions i'm hoping that they are going to be able um to bulb up in time because um the end of july signals the beginning of august and that's the other thing august is spring right spring is such a beautiful month with all the blooms and then to those of us who have allergies is officially coughing and sneezing season and that's another thing so if you catch us me in a sneeze attack or in a cough panic <laughs> i just know it's that month please bear with me anyways so we're moving hey messi come here yes come 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 you don't need to scream come on why are you why are you wearing the book and i no let me wait oh hi hey you sweetie how are you are you good apanana apanana hi say hi to auntie say hi to auntie missy oh wow okay somebody's feeling herself anyways um so this is our uh, bush beans bed guys you do know that a lot of these beans had actually died back because of the previous frosts these were looking very well but for the past two nights we've had um frost of um oh missus being very chatty can you not be chatty please yes please can you not be chatty so i can record is that okay okay so we have received a frost again for the past two nights we've been in sub-zero temperatures and you can see the top of this um have uh, no. gone bad but this were looking very good just the other day no 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 missy please don't do that but what is doing very well in here are the turnips that we put in i am hoping that they are starting to bulb oh no so once they bulb Hello. we are going to 
harvest all of them and we are going to put more bush beans because um hot weather is coming so what way what other way than to put back the bush or the summer crops that really deserves to be here i just don't know whether this was a wise decision because you can see it looks like um the bed is now a bed of um turnips and i'm hoping that they're not going to suffocate my beans because i'm suddenly suddenly going to put beans in here and then this is um the beetroots you have seen this bed over and over again the spaces have sort of increased because um we have harvested some of them and we have continued harvesting we ate some of it some we gave to my friends and very soon we are going to take all of them out and um, start thinking of a spring crop to put in here um this is the bed that had <laughs> so funny right <laughs> okay excuse me missy so this is the bed that had um what's supposed to be the garlic bed i don't know whether i have to say that every time i'm doing the tour but i feel inclined to do it just so you know where we are so what is doing in in what's doing well in here some of the herbs are being suffocated by um the turnips but i guess they are doing well this is cilantro i don't know guys um you know cilantro is those plants you either love or you hate some people find them very good and then some says it tastes like soap please take it and taste it and tell me whether you love it or it tastes like soap to you i don't know to me soap <laughs> exactly you know to me soap so i don't know whether i'll be able to enjoy it fresh no, Missy, no. Mm -mm, no. No, please, no. Mommy. Yes, my love. Um, okay, you want me to give you a flower? You want a flower, ne? Okay, here, flower. Okay, smell it. Ah, smells good, ne? Ah, wow. Okay, give Auntie to smell. Okay, so the other thing that is doing well here is this turnip. God, ouch! sure and this is the other thing with turnips they are so pokey i don't know people say um these are edible i don't know how somebody could eat these leaves they are so pokey guys um now how do i show you this turnip when it's busy poking me but you can see there's a huge turnip in here see it's it's quite huge i think it's ready for harvesting here eh? but i don't know whether to harvest it alone because currently it's the only big turnip we have i might have to harvest it and put it in soups and stews oh there's another one not so big but at least it's also okay so when i have two or three i'll definitely come and harvest them it's the very first time i'm growing turnips but it's also the very first time i'm going to have a turnip so i cannot wait okay I think this is parsley. It has suffered greatly due to the cold. And I think, I don't know whether this is dill or fennel. Guys, I still, I still get confused between dill and fennel. I guess I have to look at more pictures more often so that I am able to differentiate the two. So you can see more turnip. Let me see this one. Okay, this one is very small. Oh, this one is getting there. I'm going to give you a few days. But this, this... I don't know dill fennel i don't know looks like fennel to me it's it's doing very well and then the one of the leftover garlics that is not doing so well and you can still see um i'm having some of the lettuce still in here it has started getting hot so definitely it's um getting very bitter again but one thing i wanted to show you is that you can see you know that it's getting quite hot when your plant starts bolting and this um i think cilantro is definitely bolting yeah so it's bolting it's getting really hot and then we move on to the cabbages bed um the cabbages are doing really well there is one disappointment though in this bed okay let me start with the positives the positives 
this is one of the cabbages that were eaten down by the insects and now there are two heads coming up okay and then this were some of the smaller ones i didn't even know they would recover but they have and this is ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, uh, missing nope no 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 don't do that ah no hey why bed okay go look at the bed so you see this one this one have so had so many aphids i'm going to insert the picture we tried spraying it uh with some dishwashing liquid mixed with washing powder and uh, bicarbonate soda um it definitely worked i think a little bit with the aphids they are no longer here but you can see the leaves are burnt and um, this next one is also affected and i see the one next to that is also affected okay um but the good news is that this one that we have sprayed the first time i think i'm starting to see signs of recovery although it's definitely slowed down uh by the aphids i hope that it will recover so all the other ones seems to be doing well and then comes this i don't know what happened here I don't know i think i have to come and see whether these are also aphids because it was doing very well and then all of a sudden it just slowed down it's it's a pity hey because i rather thought we are going to have a very good cabbage harvest and then oh you once found a bug yeah no wonder because you can see it's been eaten down i'm being told there was a bug in here this one i remember showing you just a leaf this dead leaf here i don't know whether you can see it. this was the leftover after it was slipped down and then they it is coming back so i'm not complaining carrots we say you want a carrot you want a you want a carrot oh carrots um we have been coming in here and harvesting quite a number of carrots in attempt to space them out um my daughter have become a regular to the garden so every time she sees us here the garden she comes and demand for a carrot so um we are having this and that we have found some good ones the problem is whenever you get a good one before you even take a picture somebody have got it down so i don't know let me try and see whether i can get you another bigger one oh it broke will you be able to get it it's here oh there are many of them that broke in this space can you just try to get them out i don't know but that's one of the biggest actually um okay so give me that bigger one oh okay so this is the bigger one it's it's quite big okay it's not quite big it's okay um but we have certainly found many others that were much bigger than this let's move on it's getting really um dark so spinach bed i don't think there's much to show but the previous days um since it have kissed to be very cold the spinach have started growing well again and i think it's about time i came here and harvested some because i'm just missing that spinach i really miss it i haven't had it in quite a while although it's just had a backyard we had other things to eat the garden is producing so this is um dr gabriel's bed carrots um his onions i don't know what happened to his onions could somebody please i don't know whether it could just got too cold because these onions were actually bigger than mine and then they just slowed down but i'm thinking it, it got too cold because even the turnips that were planted in between his spinach they are now being shaded out by spinach for that matter but they are no longer growing do you see a bed up there missy do you see a bed in the roof you see it do you see it bed yeah bed you can't see it right I don't think it i don't think she can see it anyways the onions guys is it only me or are these onions not bulbing at a faster pace as i thought they would am i too impatient anyways this one i think is nice and big 
um the stems are still very fairly firm so i think they're nowhere near being ready um this so the red onions i think are quite big but i don't think like this one is really nice and big but i don't think the green ones are that big and there are some that are really really small i'm hoping that they're going to do a lot of bulbing up especially now that it's getting warm in spring maybe they will get wall, um, much larger much fast to satisfy the age that i'm feeling for them to grow right now and then we come to the garlic guys the garlic got me um very the garlic got me very worried it remained short um it, it didn't do much growing you know and this is what is worrying me i don't know whether this is the variety that i grew because i just um bought some at um, an open market and planted i don't know but i have tried to dig and there are no bulbs at all and those have been in this bed for how long now april may june july okay three months am i being too impatient or is this is this normal or is it not normal anyways um the peas a lot of them are grown and um i saw that they are being affected by the cold weather so the past two nights i wish i could find one that is sort of matured to show you and um i have had a big insect in my garden aka gabriella that have been plucking off the flowers from my piece yeah um no 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 go go and sit there missy go and sit okay um you see i don't know whether they can see this do you see the variegation i think that's because of the cold because the other day they were all green and all of a sudden there is a variegation but um the plants some of them are loaded some not so much like this one if you can come and see this one you can see it's quite loaded let me see if i can get one that is further along and try to show you the piece the problem is that i have been coming okay not a problem um but i've been coming here and just harvesting the ones that seems ready um so this is why you probably won't find a big one because even yesterday we came through perhaps i will go to the ones that are in the fridge right now open it up and then i'll be able to give you an example of one of those that are ready and <coughs> um can they even still see i don't know okay guys we are in the peppers these same peppers that were eaten down by mice do you see the miracle hey missy no 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 i need you to keep quiet so i can record so exactly the same peppers that were eaten down by the mice are now flowering i don't know whether you'll be able to capture this but i saw flowers guys and i'm like wow bloom do you see that that's a bloom that is starting right um where have i seen another one i don't know but i have seen several um but it's getting dark is some in here i don't know do you see any i think in the middle somewhere there um i don't want to step inside but i think somewhere here i'm seeing yeah somewhere here are they turned into small fruits already Ooh, but somewhere yeah, there you, there are, are flowers and you can see this one <clears throat> so you saw one there also oh what is that one having a fruit or a flower ah guys guys you know the mice tried they didn't defeat me this is the one thing i can say but look at this you guys do you see how many branches are on here this is why they say when you cut down or when you snip back your plants they are able to grow back with so many branches now we're having one two three four five six that's going to be a bushy pepper that is going to produce so much for me let's move on to the tomatoes um so the tomato bed being the last one first of all i'm going to show you the bed because it's right there in your face you can see the plants have grown much bigger and the side that was um touching the plastic last night and the day before yesterday um those ones didn't do so well 
um and then these plants like i said they are grown again they are having so many flowers still I'm excited because uh, spring have finally arrived and I think I'll be able to take off the plastics from these plants and that will allow the pollinators to come in and pollinate so that we can get some tomatoes. The other thing that I wanted to show you, guys, do you see this? Oh, some of the blooms have died back. But anyways, let me show you one. This is a bloom of um, our gooseberry. And they are still in here. Hey, no, 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 no. Shh. Mom. Yes. Yes, lovey. But now that spring have arrived, I'll be able to put this in the ground. And they'll be able to start growing very well. So, this is my rushed tour of the garden. I do appreciate you being here with me. I do appreciate your support, the fact that you subscribed or you're following my content. This is my first year gardening here, but I am just so happy to do this with you. Can you guys see that I'm still in my work clothes? This is because the last day of the month and I realized I haven't given you a tour and I rushed straight from work, getting the phone and my mic and coming out here. And yeah, guys, the other news. I got a mic! This is why I don't have to shout anymore. It actually felt really bad when I have to give a tour and I had to shout on top of my voice so that you were able to hear me. It kind of distorted the, pers uh, the expression at times and I came off as that loud mouthed woman who's always shouting, but I don't have to do that anymore. Thanks to my lovely husband. I love you, babe anyways um thank you guys for being here with me tonight i love you until next time bye bye okay come on are you gonna move oh that was very fast okay idiot so where you, what are your plans what are you gonna do for me since you're moving out uh, the way it jumps it always jumps and i don't get the jump it's like the first Ooh. so it's in the gully Gal,